Hello everybody and this is Connie and welcome back to my paranormal romance obsession. And I'm talking today about the Sookie Stackhouse series or the Southern Vampire series which is written by Charlene Harris. It's a 13 book series and it was uh, also a series on um, HBO called True Blood. So today I am reading the 11th and 12th about the 11th and 12th books and then we just have one more video left in this series I am um, if you see me in the same clothes just about every time it's because I am pre-recording a lot of these I am seriously looking for a job so I just felt that I needed to get through this series and then we will go on to the next one and give me your ideas on what you want to hear Book 11 about. is Dead Reckoning. Still on the same theme. I love this. They, this, is, this carried through the whole series. So, All right. About Book 11 and Dead Reckoning is, With her knack for being in trouble's way, Sookie witnesses the firebombing of Merlot's bar, the bar where she works. Since Sam Merlot is now known to be two-natured, suspicion falls immediately on the anti-shifters in the area. Sookie suspects otherwise, but her attention is divided when she realizes that her lover, Eric Northman, and his child, Pam, are plotting to kill the vampire who is now their master. Gradually, Sookie is drawn into the plot, which is more complicated than she knows. All right, book 12 is Deadlocked. Okay. And Sookie has a murder investigation on her hands. A young girl has died at a vampire party, and it looks as though her lover, Eric, might be responsible. Eric swears he didn't do it, but the police don't believe him, and even Sookie isn't so sure. Not, nor is she inclined to take his word for it, not having caught him enjoying the victim's blood minutes before she was killed. But something strange is going on. Why had Sookie been asked to come to the fateful party a few minutes early? Just to catch Eric in the act? And why had the victim spiked her own blood before approaching Eric? Was it simply because she wanted to be irresistible, or was it something more sinister? Sookie will have to find out, but the worst moment, but it's the worst moment to investigate, as her Faye family has been having troubles of their own, and Sookie is inevitably drawn in. And there is one last complication: the cluvial door her grandmother left her. It will grant her one wish, which could fulfill Sookie's heart desire. The only problem is she doesn't know what or who her heart truly desires. Book 12 and book 11 in the series. And thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this kind of thing, please give me a thumbs up and share this video. Thank you so much. See you in my last installment of the series. Bye-bye.